Hey guys, it's Chris Jimmy here today, and today I decided to tell the story about when my friend stabbed himself with an EpiPen during school, I had to go to the doctors, kind of a stupid story, but let's get right into it. So this started 8th grade year, and now it's summertime, obviously, for me right now, and I'm going into 10th grade, so this, was, this wasn't that long ago, this is actually pretty recent, I'm still friends with this kid. Side note, kind of a odd kid, but yeah, whatever. So... It was during lunch, and during lunch, our group we hung over by the hung out over by the gym, which is at the very back of the school. You know, just a regular day. We were eating and talking, and then one of my friends is like, I don't know how the, this came upon us, but we just started talking about like, oh yeah, my friend's like allergic to like bees, like super allergic, so he has to have an EpiPen, and so you know, just talking about it, he pulls it out and shows us, and we're like, oh okay, my my dad has to use one. He actually once had such a bad B reaction that he couldn't breathe and like had to go like to the ER. It was kind of scary. I wasn't even there, so I didn't even know about it till like the day after because I was at my friend's house. But so, anyways, when we were eating lunch, he pulls it out, and my friend that ends up stabbing himself says, "Hey, l l let me see this. I've never seen one before." And so, you know, we're, we're just talking, and he's kind of just by himself, just looking at it. And if you know what an EpiPen looks like, it has the top, it has, like, the big part, and then the little thing on top where you push down to make the needle come out. And so, him not knowing what it does, pushed on the top of it to, it, to like, make, make the needle eject out, and it pierces his thumb... But he doesn't make any noise, like, nothing at all. So we're thinking, okay, whatever, nothing really. And then, like, a good 30 seconds later, he asked my friend, Hey, um, I, how do I get this thing off my finger? And at this moment, we all just start yelling at him and saying how stupid he is. Because, like, he literally just stabbed himself with an EpiPen. Just, it, it was so stupid. Like, how do you manage to do that to yourself, like... It wasn't, it wasn't even like it was like a very big hole in his finger. It was just a tiny little thing, but supposedly like it does, if you don't need it, it does really bad stuff to you. So like immediately after it ha happened, he started like jittering. Like he couldn't like keep himself still. He was like, his hands were twitching and like he was breathing fast. He's like, dude, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And of course, you know, school nurses, they'll put a bandaid on your broken arm. They say, oh, you should probably go to the doctors. Well, that was a smart idea by them. So he goes to the ER, I think, which his dad basically like busted a tit on him for because his dad's super strict. But so he goes to the ER, gets it all checked out, and he just has to like, I'm not sure if he had to take medications or not, but he had to like chill down a lot. Like his heartbeat was way too fast for what it should be. And so eventually, like two days later, I think he came back to school and he was all good. But <laughs> now my friend doesn't even talk about his everything because he doesn't want this to happen again. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a pretty good story, I think. Um, this has been your boy, Crispy Chimmy. Leave a like if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe if you're new. And comment down below if I should continue these life stories, if I shouldn't. And also, you know, just leave a comment down below if you want to collab or anything. You can find me on Twitter at Crispy Chimmy. You can email me at crispychimmy at gmail.com. Uh, stay crispy, guys.